So right now, the big thing that you and I have been discussing, you've been talking about this all day. We've all had personal experiences. You have, I have, you have, you have, we have dealt with people in our lives who like to say how they feel. They like to say, oh, I just keep it real. Or I got a good heart, but this mouth. <laughs> yeah. Hey. They like to say, I just say it how it is. I call it how it is. I call it like I see it. But don't let you start calling stuff how you see it. Because then the tables have turned and they can't take it. What we're going to talk about is people who love to dish it out. But on, re- on reciprocating. They're not for the reciprocate. They can't take it. They don't take it. Isn't it funny? Like, we all know people like this. People who love to dish it out who say, mm, like he said, mm, I just keep call, call it how it is. Look, I just keep it real, Brandon. I call I just it keep like it real. I see it. Yeah, yeah. They go on and on. And it's fine. Look, nobody I'm cares. Keep it 100. Look, keep it 100. Be for real. But those exact same people are the exact same people that when you say something, when somebody says something to them, they want to get all sensitive. They want to get in their feelings. We have a little song. We do it real simple. Get them. Dish, dish, dish. Cannot, cannot take. take. And we all know people like it. So what do you do with people like that? Here's the thing. We said it, and you thought about somebody who's just like that. Somebody who's, who, I'm not saying mouthy, but they say certain things. No, I'm going to just say, no, his breath stinks. I'm going to just say it. His breath stinks. He doesn't do his work. He doesn't show up on time. He don't take care of his kids. No, yep. She don't do this. She don't do that. Oh, she just, you know. If you were to say something simple like, um, where's that twenty dollars you owe me? <laughs> I was going. Now there. we got a problem. No now issues. Now we got a problem. There's an issue. Why is it? Why is it? You tell me. Why is it? The people who are the most mouthy, the mo- the people who have the most things to say, are always the most sensitive. The people with the thickest tongues why? got the thinnest skin. What is the problem? Why? Explain that to me. And the thing is, I want you to stop. Let's take one second. Who is it for you? Like he said already, somebody popped in your head. Somebody came to your mind. You might have said it out loud. You might have cursed their name. Now, we're not advocating that. We're all about love and peace. But let's be real. There's somebody. So what do you do with people who dish it but can't take it? How do you handle it, JNP? For me, for people who <laughs> can't take it. Because, by the way, I am I Also Hate Pit. That is a.k.a. Brandon Phoenix. This is JNP. Phoenix. I missed that. Jeremy That's my Phoenix. fault. Jeremy, yep. But what do you do, Jeremy? How do you handle people? Who Personally, dish it out but for, who can't take for, the, it? for the most part, you know me. Like, I'm very, when it comes to Mountaineers, I'm aggressive. I, when it comes to Mountaineers, I keep it real. I, I keep going. I, I keep it real. Um, when it comes to people in general, like for me, I just laugh it off. Like I do with everything. If somebody comes at, at me and says something disrespectful, if somebody comes at me and says something off color, some, <laughs> and most of the time they don't even realize what they said because they do it so much. They don't think about it. So when they say it to me, most of the time I'm looking like, but I really like, and maybe this is the wrong course of action. It is. My brothers tell me I, it is. Timid J. Timid J. Look, I, I let it go because, you know, the way I feel about it is what you say to me is not going to affect me. Trust me, my self-esteem is fine. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but what I say to you, we ain't going to talk for the rest of your life. Yo, damage. the rest of what I say to you, if I if I were to respond, what I say to you is not going to, like, ever. You're never going to talk to it's me again. It's called so. a nuclear option. Okay. So I decide, look. We call it riding on folks. I okay, say. about to get rode on. I say, pump your brakes, drive slow. So I'm like, all right, okay. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to yeah, roll my eyes. For me, it depends on who it is and how important the relationship is. Uh, you know, most people, you can just let it slide off your back. You know what I mean? Water yeah. off the duck's back. It doesn't really matter. Slide off like snot. Yeah, and the best ca- in the best case scenario, I call my mother and we have a good laugh about the thing. Uh, by the way, in the best case scenario, we always call our mom. We always call our mom. <laughs> we all have a good laugh. And that's that. Always, because always, always. Because what's the point always. of ruining my day over something you had to say, right? Um, but there are some circumstances where I got to tell you about yourself. You know what I mean? It's like these people who run their mouth before a football game, and then when we beat them at the end of the game, they don't want to see nobody. No, it's funny. It's funny, the the, the two different phases. They want to talk, and then, then when something bad happens, they want to be the most sensitive. Who do I think about when I think about this? Let me think. And uh, uh, Let's see. Sports people. Oh, I have a perfect person, Cam Newton. Cam Newton wants to always be in front of the camera. Newton. Look, look, look. I like it. Look, the smile. The, look, he, when they win, he wants to be in front of the camera. He wants to be talking. He wants to be popping collars and, and whatever you want to say. He wants to be New York Fashion Week on every press conference stage that's available. But uh, uh, Cam, Cammy, my dude Cam, what happened during the Super Bowl? Right after the Super Bowl, what happened? 
Got a little silent. Skate Scott Scabula, you was out of there. You didn't talk. You don't want to talk to the press. Look, if you were going to be the man and talk while things are great and I'm the quarterback and things are great, then when bad things happen, you have to man up and be there too. Now, I know this is the exact same thing. It's a little you know side note of what we're talking about. But if you talk a lot, you have to man up as well. Yeah, like I don't like people who come out people, they viciously attack people, they want to say bad things, and then when people come at them, they keep saying, why is everybody attacking me? You know, I'll say this. We did a video called Why We Hate Virginia Tech. Some of y'all might have heard of that video. Yeah, hopefully. When we lost the game, we came out, we made a review of Virginia Tech, we gave them their props. I love that. I love that. I love that you just say that. We didn't make excuses. No we didn't excuses, say, oh, no well, the refs. No, oh, yeah. no blaming the refs. We, no crying because we had our best receiver out or our best linebacker. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we talked a lot before we the thing, a lot and, and went, we we manned up and we took it because we lost straight up, no questions. It's, that's and what, there's no excuses right? to be made. No they beat us. They beat us. Back. No tip of the cap between our. That's right. Tip of the cap. Give it to them, and that's that. And we expect people to do the same thing. So if you're gonna talk about it, then be about it. If you're gonna run your mouth, you better be able to take it. If you're gonna dish it, then go ahead and get ready to load on up when it comes back. Your if way. not, keep your mouth. Thanks for listening and watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check the links in the description for all our other media outlets. And no matter what you do, no matter what you heard, no matter what we said, don't forget, we, we also, also hate Pitt. Pitt.